my fantastic guitar collection. This is my my 6120. You like that headstock uh, nameplate over there? I originated. And that's that. This is my fabulous bass to guitar conversion. I had to redo that head. I put on a white overlay. And, uh, well, basically, the controls are all different. The tailpiece, the pickup, pretty close to finish. It's going to be a sharp looking guitar. It looks like the Glenwood without that extra notch. This is my K Thin Twin. This is probably from the late 40s, very early 50s, something like that. Tortoise shell pickguard. And uh, it's dark wood on the side, but the front and the back is figured maple or whatever, whatever the hell kind of wood it is. And this is my Supro folk star, you know what this is. Fiberglass resonator guitar. Pretty decent shape. And you don't need too much detail on that. You know pretty much what that is. Yeah, you already saw this, but that's my Tele Squire. You know what that is, basically. I put that ashtray on it. So it looks a little more like an original Tele instead of a cheapo. Not bad for under 200 bucks. Plays nice and sounds good, so you heard that in the last tape. And there's the one and the two pick, the one and the three pickup, uh, basically the same. I'm starting to strip down the one pickup on the right to use for that white one I showed you. I need a few pieces off that. How do you like those pick guards I made? Pretty sharp, huh? They almost look like the real one. Even to the insignia. You know, the one on the left's a little lousier than. I put a little more care into this one. So I'll be, that one on the right, that's going to be going bye bye as soon as I finish stripping off some of the goodies. Well, you saw this too. This is my famous uh, Rhythm Line Beetle bass. It has the Hofner type pickups and bridge and. It's pretty close to a copy, except this one doesn't have a pearl pick guard. I want to hold your hand. And there's my duo jet. And that's the, uh, the, uh, the arm there. I was trying to remember the vibrato type of arm that's on it. Roller bridge, supertrons. Actually sounds pretty good. Nice little guitar case. I, I don't know what year it is or whatever, but it has a maroon interior and uh, that's basically the case. And you saw this one too. It's basically the two pickup. You got one in the bridge. You see the lead going into the body and you got one up by the neck. It's a cute little guitar. Sounds good too. They all do actually. All the Nationals and Supras have a pretty good sound to them. And you would seen this too in the last tape. It's that's uh, my uh, K Les Paul, I call it. It's actually it's a good little guitar. It has a nice sound. I mean, it's kind of sharp looking too, but that's on eBay right now. So hopefully I'll get rid of that for a couple of hundred bucks. It's worthwhile if you need a player. This is pretty sharp. I like this one. It's uh, basically a national under an airline. It's two pickup. And Gumby headstock and all that good stuff. Sounds like a national. I had the one of the a wood body one that was the same shape as this. That one of the ones I traded off for the work that guy's doing. But it was weird. It was a wood 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 guitar that shape. And you saw this too. It's the uh, Glenwood copy, the Metropolitan Tanglewood. In the case, hopefully that'll go online 
see what happens. If I could get a grand for it, I'm 300, 250, 300 bucks ahead of the game. This is the one that I sold for 140 that I bought mainly to get the case for, the national case. That's sort of the Martin type body and it has the Fender type head. Sounds pretty good. You know, that's what you expect. I bought it mainly for the case, so I'm a break even. I got the case for free. And there's the two national cases I got. I mean, they're not in mint condition, but hey, <laughs> where are you going to get them? They ain't making them anymore. So on the left, it's for the big map size, like the Glenwood, and the other one is for the smaller ones, like the Westwood. And you can see the difference in the size. That's them. Okay, there you got the Mommy and Daddy with those luxurious full Kelvinator headstocks. And that's the, uh, well, you saw the little one in the other tape. And that's the big one, the, the, the middle size. The leader bridge and all that good stuff. So now I just need the big one and we're all set. These are the cases. They're in pretty decent shape, actually, considering that they're 40 years old. That's the big map. I played that for you on the other tape, so you know what that is. It's a big sucker. That's nice anyway. I like it. Ah, that's the soon-to-be gone Gretsch anniversary. One pickup, roller bridge, all the good stuff. That was a pretty good guitar, actually, but now that I got the green one, which I don't have a picture of, the guy still has it, so that's going to be the next. And that's the upbeat. And you saw this in the last one. The only difference is, how do you like that sparkle pick guard I made? Oh, most. Must be haunted. That's pretty much, I got the right heads on it. I mean, everything's pretty much original. That thing, you can't really tell too much from the, uh, pretty close to the original. So, until I get the big BK, that'll have to do. It's pretty... This is the, uh... Famous body switching I did on the uh, Jaguar. Looks a lot better than that ugly blonde, doesn't it? There's a nice finish. There's just a couple of chips in the back on the very, like the corner. But otherwise, the thing's in really, you know, I kept all the original. Everything's original on it. The, uh, the headstock and the neck and the, all the equipment. All the um, underneath, every all the guts, everything. It's complete, except except for one part has been replaced, but otherwise, that's what it looks like. And here's the anniversary. Like so you can see it's not, it's far from mint, but. Say there's that little look like somebody was had a ring on when they were operating the, the, the switches. As you can see the the difference in the uh, the finish maybe I don't know if you can or not. And there's the uh, famous stereo pickups. Show you the back, and there's the uh, original heads. You can see it's a little chipped up at the top. And there's that little missing piece of uh, what do you call right there? That's the back. Like I say, it's not bad at all. It's not buckle worn. It's just the thing was just left alone for a long time and. Uh, basically it. Actually, it's not in bad shape at all. 
Yeah, here's what it sounds like. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to show you, this is the, uh, the what do you call it, I had it re rebound. There's a little chipping around, actually, because it wasn't refinished. The, uh, that stupid looking vibrato. I don't know, you know, I got mixed emotions about this, if I want to keep it or not. It's not a bad looking guitar. It has sound, you know, it sounds pretty good. And, uh, it doesn't look too bad. It has the Supertrons, which, eh, I'll play for you too, just so you get an idea of the sound.
Here's the jazz master. 